Hi folks! Today I'm reviewing 127 hours from the writer, producer, director team of Simon Buffoy, Christian Coulson, and Danny Boyle, all three of whom you may recall were behind the massive 2008 hit Slumdog Millionaire. 127 Hours is based on the true story of Aaron Ralston, a thrill-seeking adrenaline junkie who, in 2003, was canyoneering in Utah when a boulder slipped and trapped his arm beneath it. He miraculously managed to survive for more than five days before finally taking drastic measures to free himself by amputating his own arm. Pardon the cliché, but I challenge anyone to disagree with the fact that this really is an incredible true story. And Danny Boyle is quite an incredible filmmaker. He puts his stamp on every movie he makes with a unique and innovative style that often includes fast-paced editing, high-energy music, and inventive camera work. All of that works really effectively with most of his other films, but I dare say for this type of story, I found his style to be a bit of a misfit. Don't get me wrong, I have nothing but the greatest appreciation and respect and awe for Danny Boyle and his crew for having the audacity to challenge both themselves and their audience with such a daring and unconventional film. But at the end of the day, I just couldn't warm up to it the way I wished I could have. The film struggles to attain a level of intimacy with the Aaron Ralston character because we're constantly distracted by all the stylistic flourishes which, clever as they may be, do remove focus from the film. I still recommend that you see it, if for no other reason, to behold James Franco's performance. He carries the entire movie on his back from start to finish and never hits a false note. It's a gripping performance piece that deserves and shall surely receive its fair share of awards attention this season. Another thing I liked about the film is how the screenplay ties in a message about the importance of embracing society and the people around you instead of simply making the movie a story about one man's fight for survival. I still have my reservations, but if you can become comfortable with the aesthetic choices of the film, I think you'll find a lot to appreciate in 127 hours, to which I grant a rating of 3 stars out of 4. Ta for now.